Hey, good evening. It's Wednesday. It's St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I do have a little tiny bit of green on, but you're just seeing my white sweater this evening. So tonight, um, waiting for Bill to give me the thumbs up here, we're going to talk about the world of good sweet. I did do a little bit with this uh, stamp set and back in Christmas time when I was making some Christmas card and I did Joy to the World. But I hadn't really gotten out the whole suite, which I just love. It's on pages 24, 25, and the stamp set is on page 26 of the main catalog. So I know these papers are really pretty. So I thought tonight I would take some time and do just a couple little projects. So I hope that you enjoy what I have this evening. Uh, there is the stamp set and the dies. So there's a lot of globes in there. There is these antique corners and side elements. Let me go ahead and open those up. They're really cute. Hopefully you're able to see those. Um, there's some... The papers are just beautiful, and there's even a foiled brass, and we have a few things cut out of that tonight. So, and there's some ribbon that we're going to use. So we're just really going to enjoy this set, and even memory and more cards. So why don't we just sort of jump right in, and then tomorrow again, um, when the email goes out to those that are subscribed, there will be a tutorial attached to that for the cards that we're making this evening. And the first one I'm going to bring in is this card. It's uh, rather simple, but um, I wanted to play with all of the pattern designer series paper. And so we're just gonna start with this one. Oop, I got everything pre-cut out. So we're starting with Mossy Meadow and the card is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. You can probably hear my little puppy here crying in the background. So this paper has two sides. I know it can be very glaring. Uh, good evening, everybody. I'm not able to see the comments like I used to as much of them, but I'm grateful that everybody stopped in. So this next one is just an eighth of an inch smaller. This first layer is five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And then we have a couple other layers. The next layer that I'm going to do again is out of this. It has the map, so I wanna make sure that I'm putting all the words the right side up. This one is three by four and a half. Come on. And we're just gonna put this in the middle here. And then the next one, on this card I used a yellow, but I think I have this one tonight. All right, so this one is two by four and an eight. I think Bill may be able to see the comments. I'll have to see if he can see them and relay them to me. So I think I'm going to do the different one for this one. Sharon's on, Debbie's on. Just take a different look Debbie at this one. the paper you're using. I, Debbie, I remember you telling me that you liked this set and that I needed to do something with it. So for this layer, this one is three and a half by two and a quarter. What I did is this is a paper that looks like it has a little bit of writing on it and sort of looked old. So I actually pulled out the 3D embossing folder that goes with this set. It's called Old World Paper. So I ran this through um, the embossing machine and I really like the texture it gave it to make it even look older. And then what we're going to do is I am going to sponge the edges of it with a dauber 
and some early espresso ink to just make the edges look a little more worn. You could even tear this if you wanted to. All right, just put a little bit of ink on there and then I'm gonna glue this one down. I also wanna let everybody know that today, for the 17th only for 24 hours, you can get free shipping. So if there's anything that you have been wanting and haven't gotten yet, today would be a great day to go out and place an order and get that free shipping. All right, so now for my sentiment, I went ahead and I did a few different circles. So I used um, the stitch circle dies. I did the nested dies so I could get one with the scallops. This one I stamped in crumb cake and then an early espresso. And that is cut out with the globe die from this suite. And then again, I found one with the scallops that matched it. So I just wanted to, to have those extra layers to just give it a little bit of a, a lift there. And so I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. I'll put that. I like this sentiment. You make the world a better place. And on the inside, I did put thank you for being part of mine. And the feather and the little ink bottle. Now for the for the elements on this one to embellish it, I went with the brass foil sheet. And in this um, set, you can see there's these little swirly dies. So that's what I used here. Let me find my itty bitty ink bottle because I did not put sticker paper on this. So I just wanna use my itty bitty ink bottle. And we'll glue this down. You know, I was thinking the other day, it feels like every time I do a, a video and I use a stamp set, I'm like, oh, I love this paper and I love this stamp set. And I started thinking about it and I said, well, you know what? That was my issue. I got into paper crafting, a friend introduced me to it and I fell in love with it. And so that's why I became a demonstrator because you know, you can't just pick just one. They keep having to get more and more. And I do love them all. So here's, I made my little ink bottle out of the brass foil sheet. And then I have a little bit of glue on there. And then these feathers were stamped in Mossy Meadow and then cut out. There we go. So that's our first card this evening. I like it with both papers. You have to let me know which one you like better. The one with the, the early espresso or the yellow. All right, let's pull in our next card. This one was fun. This is one I've seen um, in some groups that I belong to and some of my Stampin' Up! groups. And someone um, showed this in one of the meetings we had a couple weeks ago. And I just had to case it, copy and share everywhere. So we're gonna make some pocket cards. Now, when I made these pocket cards, um, again, I'm using the same suite of products, and then I brought in the memory and more cards. They have the big cards, and then they also have the smaller cards, and these are just the right size for the little tag inside. Now, in this case, I did put a piece of paper because I didn't like the sentiment on the back of the one for this card. But I like these because today was a great day. Somebody can take a note about that or I can write a, use this as a thank you card and write why was the day great when I send it out. So we're going to make these and it's a two for one. When you go to make one card, if you remember a couple weeks ago, we made the ones that had the two flaps that open. This case, we're gonna make 
two pocket cards. And we're going to make them in a different color wave. We're going to start with Bumblebee base. And you're going to start with two bases. The first one is going to be five and a half by eight and a half. And you're going to cut a second one that's just the base size, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. And so you'll see why we need to do that to get this two for one. So the first step you're gonna do is we need to make sure that we get a diagonal cut on the front of your card. So I'm gonna take my full card base and I'm going to trim from the fold line in the upper left corner down to the bottom right so I get that diagonal. Let's see, so I'm just gonna put that in my track here and I'm gonna cut that off. And this is where the two for one comes in. We're not gonna get rid of this. We're gonna use this and put it on this card. So the next step we have to take is we have to close our pocket. So I'm gonna take tear and tape and I'm gonna put it along the bottom edge here of this one. And I'm even gonna put just a little dab of glue here. You don't have to do that. To hold, sort of hold that so it slides up. So now I'm going to peel this off. Oop. Tear and tape can be so much fun. Let's see, there we go. All right, so then all I have to do is slide that over, and that gives me my pocket. For this one, for the triangle that we cut off, of course, we need to attach it to the side and the bottom. So I'm going to put tear and tape down the side. And then I'm going to put a piece across the bottom. Now I really want this to stick, so I am going to take a little bit of glue and put it up here in this corner so that corner sticks down. Make sure that tear and tape is stuck. There we go. And we're just going to put that on here to make another pocket card. Looks like I may have to trim a little bit off the top there, and that's okay. We can do that. So the next thing we need is you need two pieces of DSP to cut to decorate your card with. So we're also going to trim these exactly the same way. It's portrait. And whatever paper you want showing on your card, make sure it's face up when you cut them. You want to cut them both exactly the same. So I'm just going to put these in here. I'm going to cut them both at the same time. I'm going to go portrait from that upper left to the bottom right. I'll get those in there. And then I'm going to cut those. Move my trimmer out of the way. So now I can come over here. And we're going to put one on the top and one on the bottom. Maybe I'll do this one the opposite way. There we go. So we'll bring in the glue. And we'll put this on here. There we go. I think these papers are so pretty. I do like the colors. There's that misty moonlight that's that new in color. Bumblebee, Early Espresso, Mossy Meadow. They just go so well together. Crystal's on, but. Hi, Crystal. Thanks for joining. Bill can only see some of the comments as people come in. So I appreciate him being my MC over here. Barb's also 
Hi, Barb. Thanks for joining. All right. So there's our pocket cards and they're decorated. So to make it easy for myself, again, I went through the memory and more kit. And this time I found one that said bucket list. And I thought how fun to make this card and send somebody one with a tag in it and they could create a bucket list. So this could be a birthday card or what, whatever you wanted it to be for whatever occasion, but then somebody can take this. And this time I did not cover the back. It's never too late in life to have an adventure. So I just thought that was a perfect one for this card. So if you don't have memories and more and you're still making these, you can just cut a piece for this. And I believe this is three by four. Let me... I didn't have it written down. Let me just, yep, four by three. Wow, my memory's pretty good there. So, now what I did to just make them look cute is I just got out a, a simple hole punch. This time I punched a hole in the corner instead of the center because I didn't want to cover up the words. And for these, I used the Early Espresso Faux Suede ribbon. For this one, which it should be right in front of me, <laughs> here it is, I'm going to use the Misty Moonlight um, in color ribbon. And so I'm just going to put this through here. And instead of tying a knot with this, I'm just going to bring these up here. And I'm going to grab a piece of... Um, I think it's linen thread. I call it twine all the time. And I'm just going to tie a knot around that. Of course, I'm all thumbs, right? Whenever you're trying to do anything live. There we go. And I'm just going to tie a knot here. And then I like to cut those at an angle. And I'll just trim that off. And look, you can even stamp something on here if you want to. But I think there's such a cute card. You can put a gift card in there. There's um, a lot of versatility to them. Now, to decorate these ones, I have my little box of goodies here. In these memories and more, also came with some stickers. So... The cards you can see there's like a lot of little stickers here that you get with this one and here's another little thing of stickers so they're they have a lot in them and so I did stamp these in the two colors and then I liked again I went back to this paper that looks like there's little writing on it this was actually a memories and more card and I punched out a little ink bottle let me go ahead and put this on here I'm gonna glue down my little ink bottle Come on. I think my need a new blue bottle I think I'm just gonna stick that right there and then I have different colors of feathers here let's see we have green yellow I think we'll do the blue and so I am just going to put the glue on the bottom here because it is going to stick up over where my card is all right and then I'm just going to do the same thing on this other one I love the little stickers they make it so easy put it on this side this time and what about a yellow one so again remember today for 24 hours so till midnight tonight um, there is free shipping so if there's anything on your wish list now's the time to get it let me pull these back in. Get my glue out of the way there. 
All right, so here's our cards. We've used just about everything in the suite. You know what I was thinking about doing too? Um, where are, here they are. I really like these. So on one of these, I'm gonna pull out the antique little corners. And I am going to grab a glue dot. And we're just gonna put one of these right here. If I could pick it up, I lost all my nails this week. They've all been. And then we're gonna put one right down here in this corner. There we go. Add a little bit to it. So we've used everything in this suite that we could possibly use, the memories and word cards, the embossing folder. So as you can see, it's a pretty little set. I like it because it's one of the nice um, masculine, masculine. Oh my God, I have the worst trouble with that word. So I hope you enjoyed this evening. And remember, let me know which one you like better. Which card here? Because I know there's the dark espresso paper and then there's the yellow so as always i appreciate you taking some time out of your evening and and visiting with me while we make some cards and i hope you enjoy the rest of your saint patty's day thank you bye bye